All right, so we made our brush, but we're not going to be adding it yet. First, we're going to expand our uh, the size of our uh, layout. So notice, if what if we want to extend and make a mat? Okay, so what we're going to do is go to Image and Canvas Size. And our canvas size, we're going to change it to 580 pixels by 440. So change it to pixels, 580 by 440. We hit OK. It's going to um, expand our space. So now we have the space on the outside. There we go. So now I scatter my leaves across. Um, what I did was under scattering, I put control off, no fade. And then it worked. So what we can do is scatter our leaves and make sure some of the leaves scatter um, off the page. Okay, so there we go. Now what we're going to do is add a flower uh, brush tool and make patterns to our umbrella. So do you remember that uh, flower, this one right here, it's called Fall 2. You can download that from the class page. Define brush. Edit. Define brush preset right here. Make sure that the flower is selected. Um, we're going to call this flower. So now go hit the B key on your keyboard and go to your brush and then you'll notice that your brush was automatically added right here. So now you can imprint it and it's like a flower. But that flower is way too big for what we're doing. Okay, so there's some things that we're going to be doing. First of all, we want spacing 80%. So here we go again with all the details on how to make it. So let's start with our brush tip shape. Spacing, instead of 25%, we're going to go to 80%. Uh, diamond is going to be at 25 instead of 184. So it's basically making it smaller and more spaced out when we scatter it. We're going to do a roundness jitter of 44%. Minimum roundness is 39. So at the bottom, minimum roundness, we're going to change that to 39. Scatter value is going to be 500%. So see a scatter value, right now it's at 265, 500 with a count of 1. So those are the changes there. Finally, color dynamics, hue jitter is going to be 15%. Uh, hue jitter, 15%. So uh, in summary, um, the layer has already been selected. If you go to select, load selection, and then you can choose alpha 4. You'll notice that it automatically selects that. It's basically, they already did it for us. Instead of us using the lasso tool or some other tool to select it, it's already selected for us. So once that's set, we need to get the color um, for what we're going to be. So we're basically doing this, making the colors on the umbrella. Um, the color is going to be like a light pink and we're going to create a new layer and place that in umbrella on the top layer so let's go ahead in our umbrella layer hit new layer make sure that's on top you can type in flower for the umbrella should be the top layer so it's seen Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna have an opacity of 70% so that it's like you can kind of see through the flower, it's kind of transparent a little bit. So change the opacity of the layer to 70%. And change the colors over here. Um, maybe my first color is going to be more of like a pinkish, a light pink. And then you know how it like scatters to different colors? So choose your second color, your background color. Um, I'm going to choose more of a bluish, light bluish. Now I'm ready to scatter. If I just click and hold down my uh, key, it will automatically scatter across my umbrella. Okay, last thing we're going to do is make a mat for our... Uh, so in the end it should look like this. So notice it looks nice, right? Like a nice mat. So let's go ahead and make that mat. So remember we increased the size of our uh, document. So what we're going to do is create a new layer and you can go ahead and put this layer on top and we can go ahead and close the umbrella. If you click on the arrows you can like hide the different lay layers into that folder. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get this file, it's called Fall 3. You can download that from the website. Right. And I'm gonna Command A to select it all. And then I'm gonna go into Filter, Pattern Maker. And remember this, we did this with the water for the parts tutorial, we're going to hit generate and then I'm going to hit save right here. I'm going to call this maybe um, purple. Now do not hit OK. Just hit cancel. We already saved it. So now we can go in here. We can go in to our pattern stamp tool right there. And with our pattern stamp tool, we can select the pattern that we just made. And what we can do also is like hit, just hit Command A, select everything, and we can like make our brush like really big, and basically just fill in our fill it all in with our background, right? So. We now have our background, but notice if we take this background and we put it back here, it still doesn't look right. It meshes in with our background, so that's not right. The patterns are up here, pattern maker. So what we need to do is basically cut out a section of, of this. So let's go ahead and hide our layer first. Hit the M key or marquee and select the square like around your image with the marquee tool. Okay. Now go up to layer two. Press on the I so we can see the layer two, which is called purple. And then go ahead and just hit delete. And it basically punches out um, that color to make a, a frame for us. And Command D is deselect. If we want a white trim around that, I mean it's the same process. You just hit New Layer, go to Edit, Fill, and fill the color with white. Hit OK. So you notice that we have a white color. And now hide that layer. And basically we can just select where we want our white to be. Let's say I want it right here. So I'm going to go into our white layer. I'm going to hit delete so it punches it out. I'm going to hide it. Go and now I'm going to select I'm going to hit marquee shift control i and delete. And hit. So now we have our frame. Uh, sometimes it's nice to do a drop shadow. Hit function hit drop shadow. And notice the drop shadow that comes up. It looks pretty nice with the drop shadow. 